Natalii Klitschko is undoubtedly one of the greatest heavyweights in boxing's history. The legendary Dr. Iron Fist was never intimidated by anyone in the ring, and he easily dominated all the opponents he ever faced. Together with his brother Vladimir Klitschko, this duo dominated the heavyweight division for more than a decade. In a career spanning over 15 years, Vitaly Klitschko fought a total of 47 times and won 45 of them with only two losses. So today, we will take a look at the incredible career of Vitaly Klitschko and all his losses. Vitaly was introduced to boxing at the age of 13. He had an impressive amateur career with more than 200 fights to his record. He made his professional debut at the age of 25 in November 1996 against Tony Bradham. Vitaly made short work of Bradham, stopping him by a knockout in the second round. This victory set the tone for Vitaly's boxing career. Over the next few years, Vitaly continued to dominate all of his opponents and went on to win 17 more consecutive fights after his debut to set up a fight against American Dickie Ryan for his first title fight in May 1998. Vitaly stopped Dickie Ryan inside the fifth round to claim the vacant WBO Intercontinental title. In the same year, he won his second regional title by stopping Mario Scheiser to become the new European heavyweight champion. In June 1999, Vitaly got his first shot at a world title against British WBO champion Herbie Hyde for the WBO heavyweight title. Despite coming into the bout with a perfect record of 24-0, Vitaly was less known in Britain and was quickly dismissed by the British media as having only faced weak opponents. Hyde, on the other hand, was a two-time world heavyweight champion with only one loss in 32 bouts. He took the action to Vitaly in the opening round, using his fast and accurate punches. But Vitaly exploded to life in the second round to stop Hyde and become the heavyweight champion of the world. This victory announced Vitaly on the world stage and set him up for more big opportunities. He made the first defense of the title in October 1999 against then undefeated Ed Mahone. Vitaly dominated the fight before scoring a knockout victory over Mahone in the third round. Vitaly's next defense was against highly ranked American Obed Sullivan. In this one-sided contest, Vitaly dominated the fight from the opening round and was ahead on all the scorecards when Sullivan retired on his stool after the ninth round. After two successful title defenses, Vitaly was scheduled to make his next defense against Canadian Donovan Ruddick in April 2000. However, Ruddick was forced to withdraw from the fight at late notice due to hepatitis infection. Therefore, American 1992 Olympic silver medalist Chris Bird was brought in as a last-minute substitute on 10 days' notice. Chris Bird, a southpaw boxer, represented the United States at the 1992 Summer Olympics and won a silver medal in the middleweight division. He turned pro in 1993 and quickly compiled an unbeaten record of 26-0 in five years. However, his unbeaten run came to an end against hard-hitting Nigerian Ibi Abunchi in March 1999. 
Anything in the that one guy has been hurt with something. Oh, on the pen! Burn in serious trouble! He's very bad. He doesn't even know where he is right now. Here comes the Bayabuchi. We'll never make out of this round, Joe. All right, All right left foot. Right, 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 right. Oh, they can stop it. They can stop it right now. Bird bounced back from the loss by defeating his next four opponents via knockout before he was brought in as a last-minute replacement for Donovan Ruddick. Vitaly controlled the fight from the opening round while Bird struggled greatly against his bigger opponent. Vitaly won virtually every round against Bird and was ahead on all of the scorecards after nine rounds. However, Vitaly severely injured his shoulder during the fight and was unable to continue after nine rounds. Despite trailing on the scorecards, Chris Bird was declared the winner by a technical knockout due to the injury to Vitaly. The injury was a torn shoulder rotator cuff, which required major surgery and seven months layoff before Vitaly could return to the ring. Vitaly was widely criticized for his decision to quit with only three rounds left in the contest, but Bird did not enjoy his victory for as long as he was defeated six months later in his first defense against Vitaly's brother, Vladimir Klitschko. After his loss to Bird, Vitaly returned to winning ways with a unanimous decision victory over previously unbeaten German Timo Hoffmann for the vacant European heavyweight title in November 2000. Nochmal die Rechte. Die hat ihn durchgeschüttelt. Da stand die Decke. Aus Hamburg, Dr. Vitaly Klitschko! Eine klare Sache. In his next fight against former WBA cruiserweight champion Orlin Norris in 2001, Vitaly floored the former champion twice in the opening round to claim the vacant WBA Intercontinental Heavyweight title. In December 2001, Vitaly defended the WA Intercontinental title against American veteran journeyman Ross Purity. Vitaly dominated every single round of the fight before stopping Purity in the 11th round, thereby retaining his title and avenging the first loss of his brother Vladimir's career at the hands of Ross Purity. Vitaly Klitschko has won. Then in 2002, Vitaly had just two fights. The first was in February against former heavyweight world title challenger Von Bean when he won via knockout in round 11. <laughs> While the second fight was against Larry Donnell, which he won via knockout in round 10, thereby becoming the WBC's number one contender. <laughs> In 
Thereafter, Vitaly turned his sights on a possible title fight with Lennox Lewis, who was coming off a monumental victory against former undisputed heavyweight champion Mike Tyson. Lennox Lewis, a former Olympic gold medalist, was perhaps the most dominant heavyweight boxer at the time. After turning pro in 1989, Lewis quickly rose through the ranks and became the WBC heavyweight champion in 1992, thus making him the first British heavyweight champion in the 20th century. After compiling a perfect record of 25-0 and defending the WBC heavyweight title three times, Lewis lost the title in a huge upset to Oliver McCall in 1994. Lewis rebounded after the loss and got himself back into contention. Then, in a rematch against Oliver McCall in 1997, Lewis avenged his loss and reclaimed the WBC heavyweight title. Lewis continued to reign as the heavyweight champion and eventually unified his WBC title with Evander Holyfield's WBA and IBF titles, as well as the vacant IBO title in 1999, to become the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Although the WBA stripped him of his title for refusing to face mandatory challenger John Ruiz the following year, he went on to defend his remaining title successfully three times before losing them briefly to Hasim Rahman in another major upset. Lewis won the unified title in an immediate rematch to set up a fight against Mike Tyson in 2002. Lewis pummeled the former champion to secure a knockout victory inside the eighth round and cemented his legacy as one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. Lewis was stripped of his IBF title after he refused to fight IBF's mandatory challenger Chris Bird, who had defeated Vitaly in 2000. Instead, he wanted to fight Vitaly, but negotiations for the fight fell through. So Lewis decided to face Canadian slugger Kirk Johnson in June 2003, while Vitaly was expected to fight on the undercard as a tune-up fight in anticipation of a possible fight against Lewis later in the year. However, with only two weeks to go before the fight, Johnson pulled out of the fight due to a chest injury sustained during training. With no other options available, Vitaly offered to step in as a late replacement to fight Lewis. Although Vitaly had an impressive record of 32 wins with 31 knockouts and only one defeat, he came into the fight as the underdog due to Lewis's strong record. Lewis came into the bout with a record of 40 wins, two losses, and one draw, with notable victories over some of the best names in the heavyweight division at the time. Nevertheless, Vitaly was unfazed by Lewis's credentials. But will it be upgraded as a fight? He entered to the strains of the Eagles Hotel California. Vitaly got off to an early start and dominated the first two rounds of the fight. Let's go with the right. Lewis misses with the left. Let's go pawing with his punches, but... Uppercut by Lewis. Land. Oh, he's got a different... Left hand lands the blitz cover. Lewis momentarily has to do is reach out and get it. With awkward short arm shots, he's feeding Lewis to the punch. He rips him again with the right hand. Lewis momentarily wobbles. And now Lewis is still wobbly as Vitelli goes after him. You can bet Emmanuel Stewart's going to have a lot to say to Lennox if he can make it out of this round. Let's go trying to land that right hand one more time. Lewis ducking and the helmet effect on Tisco. That man is heavy, Lennox Lewis. And Lennox Lewis's left thigh is beginning to swell, and there may be blood under the eye. The Tally Klitschko is roughing Lennox Lewis up as the second round begins to come down the stretch. Is it big work? Lewis was able to survive the early onslaught and slowly began to assert himself in the third round. He landed a big right hand, which caused a cut above Vitaly's left eye. Someone is bleeding pretty good there. Lennox Lewis under the left eye, and now Vitaly bleeding by the left eye as well. Big right hand. There has never 
have been a heavyweight championship between big men. He's taking the hardest shot. Okay, we're calling time out to look at the guy. From the fourth round, Lewis targeted the injured eyes, which continued to grow worse and impede Vitali's vision. 29-28, Vitali. with the right hand. Lewis, danger, he's in with his eye that badly cut. But in the fourth round, Klitschko got off 66 punches. Staying away from that big overhand right. This jab. Right hand staggers Klitschko momentarily. Number of Vitaly Klitschko, but his eye begins to drain blood again. Lewis is there for him. All he has to do is just take it. Little with straight right hand. Well, you got to be sharper than this to be good with the right hand. Lennox is just winging, looping haymakers. Deep breath. Give us some water. It's not bleeding. But the challenger fought bravely and was ahead on all the scorecards coming into the sixth round. Between rounds, hard right hand by Vitaly Klitschko. Between rounds, every time the doctor goes into Vitaly's corner, they're pausing the clock. So as long as a minute and a half has been going by between rounds, and that's got to be a help to Lewis, as exhausted as he looks at the end of these rounds. But at the end of the sixth round, the ringside doctor decided that the injury was too severe to allow Vitaly to continue the fight. Therefore, Lewis was declared the winner despite trailing on all the scorecards. Due to the controversial ending of the fight, a rematch was set for later that year, and many fans were eager to see the two men in the ring once more. Unfortunately, this never happened as Lewis announced his retirement in February 2004. Vitaly, however, made a comeback after this loss and won the title that Lewis relinquished two fights later in 2004 with an eighth-round knockout of Corey Sanders, the boxer who defeated Vladimir Klitschko in an incredible upset a year earlier. This marked the beginning of a new era that saw Vitaly dominate as the premier heavyweight in boxing. He defended the title successfully multiple times against the likes of Chris Ariola, Shannon Briggs, yes. and Derek Chisora before retiring from boxing in 2012 with a knockout victory over Manuel Char. The tally retired with an impressive record of 45 wins with 41 knockouts and two losses. His 87% knockout ratio remains one of the best in heavyweight boxing. And throughout his career, Vitali was never knocked down. He retired in both losses to Chris Bird and Lennox Lewis in 2000 and 2003, respectively. It is also important to know that his two losses were to world champions. Also, he won both fights by points, but only lost due to injuries. Which of Vitaly's fights during his career was your favorite? We'd like to know your answer in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more entertaining boxing videos.